Well guys, today I bring you a more detailed review of chapter 140 of Bakido. The previous video was made when only a couple of spoilers were released. I thought that the scans were not going to be released this week, so I uploaded the video based on the spoilers. Coincidentally, a couple of hours after posting my video, the whole chapter was leaked on the internet. There were about five pages that we had not seen in the spoilers, but there were the most interesting panels of the chapter. So let's get on with this interesting chapter. Oliva and Sukumhei were in the parking lot ready to fight. Biscuit doesn't even give Nomi a second to think and attacks him with a punch straight to the jaw. He doesn't even let him process that punch and punches him in the face again. Nomi goes flying through the air and crashes into a vehicle on the scene. The Rikishi gets angry and confronts Oliva with a frontal attack. Unfortunately for him, our dear Oliver easily stops him. The Rikishi tries to grab him by the ribs, however the Unchained was already prepared for it and stops him immediately. Oliva takes advantage of this position and does a suplex on Nomi. Although it actually looks like a Greco-Roman wrestling move. Nomi slams his face into the ground, but he doesn't lay there for a second and quickly gets back to his feet. One thing I love about Nomi is that Despite being a very heavy guy, he moves like a featherweight. He gets up easily using only his hands. They both get up and Oliver says something interesting. He wants to challenge the Rikishi to a contest of grappling strength. Nomi accepts but reminds Biscuit not to be confident of his strength. He says, For weighing almost half my weight, you are very confident of your strength. But the truth is, you're just a guy with excessive muscle mass. Nomi accepts the challenge and grabs Oliva's hand. The Rikishi puts all this strength into that grip and tries to subdue Biscuit. Oliva says, that's not bad, however, for someone who carries the title of Rikishi. That grip is too weak. Biscuit squeezes Nomi's hand with twice as much pressure as before. He manages to subdue Nomi and makes him bend his knees. He even dares to say that he now looks taller, as their gazes are finally on the same level. With this image, this chapter ends. It is also mentioned that the manga will take two weeks off. I'm going to say this because I think many of us think the same. Oleva doesn't have a stronger grip than Nomi. Come on, the only ones who turned coal into diamond were Nomi and Yujiro. Besides, Jack himself admitted that if Nomi had had all five fingers, he would have taken the win. Also, if you look closely, Nomi is using his injured hand, so he's obviously going to be at a big disadvantage. But well, this is just my opinion, don't forget to leave me yours in the comments box. And regarding the high S, by now we're all used to constant pauses in the manga. As long as it's not a break of more than a month, I'm fine with it. Let's remember that Itagaki has been doing this for over 30 years, so we can't demand too much from him. And well friends, thanks for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.